welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, October 14th, 2016, and we are here in the studio with Phoebe Starr. Whenever you're ready, we'd like to hear your first song.
Audio Tree Live, and we're here in the studio with Phoebe Starr. Those two songs are unreleased, you said, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> cool. Are they going to be included in your EP? They are. They yeah. are. So, but we wanted to play them today, so we did. Yeah. No, that's um coming out next. So it's next year. You said. Yeah, early next cool. year. Yeah, I can't wait. I've been ready to release it for yeah. forever. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like slowly doing it by just like yeah. a song at a time. It sounds like it's going to be awesome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, titled Chronicles. Yeah, that's right. Cool. It's inspired by Chronicles of Narnia, you said? Yeah, a little bit of um, Chronicles of Narnia. Actually, I um, spent a year in L.A. last year, which is where I wrote the EP, and I was reading Chronicles of Narnia again. I found these cool little old versions of the books in like this thrift store for like 20 cents each and so I read it all but it was like crazy because I guess you don't really realize what your life is like until you move countries sure <laughs> so, so moving from Australia to LA it got me to reflect on like every chapter of my life and so I was reading Chronicles of Narnia and I was like oh wow this is where I've come from and this is why I like to make music and this is why that? So I kind of had a lot of similarities with characters and ideas and themes. So I was like, that's what I'm going to name this EP. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a great name. Um, is there a favorite in the series that you liked? I know um, Lion, the Witch of the, the Wardrobe books? is the only one that I've read, <laughs> <laughs> admittedly. Um, you know, like I like them all for different reasons because they're so creative um, and metaphorical, I think. so. But I, I mainly like identify a lot with Lucy. I'm the youngest child of my family and kind of went and pursued art instead of everything else. So it was like I just more so love her as a character. And actually going through the series, she she doesn't have as big a part in the end. So it's like a bit disappointing. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, oh. I would see myself as her. And I'm, yeah, that's a bit narcissistic. But like <laughs> totally loved like thinking that I was in Narnia. And it was cool. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, no, I mean, it's good if you can find a little bit of yourself in the characters. And <laughs> it inspired you, obviously, artistically. So, yeah, you definitely got something out of it. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about, like, how different your life is, how you're able to reflect from, I'm sure coming from a different country to America, I mean, we could talk for hours about the differences and, yeah. you know, how your experience has been. But, like, what do you think is the biggest, what's the biggest difference in, like, the music industry between the Australian music industry and America that you've noticed? I mean, it's a it's a lot bigger here. So yeah. um, Australia's a, a small scene, and I love Australia. But um, I think more of a personal, more of a personal artistic journey is like the the your environment surrounds you so much. And um, I grew up in this like really small town in Australia, mm -hmm. which is quite isolated, and it's different from like small towns here in the Midwest, for instance, where yeah. two hours away there's a major city. It's like we didn't get internet until like <laughs> when the world had it for like eight <laughs> years. So it was like huh. kind of seeing life done in a different way didn't necessarily impact me on the music industry. It just impacted me to see like my reality was really different yeah. from 
from like growing up in the US and yeah, yeah or even growing up in like a major city in Australia like it's it's a very different like because there's only like 26 million people in our country and it's huge it's nearly the mm. size of America like it's not as big as America but it's 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 really big and yeah <laughs> so you guys have that in like two of your cities <laughs> true <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's drastically yeah I'm assuming drastically different yeah I want to talk to you more about that but whenever you're ready we'd like to hear your next track yeah cool cool this one's alone with you static voices around me choruses annoying me no song sounds sweet Audio Tree Live, and we're excited to have Phoebe Star in the studio with us today. They played at the Virgin Hotel last night here in Chicago, and tonight you guys are playing at the Art Institute of Chicago. Yes, I'm so excited. That'll be awesome. Yeah, it's like a dream, actually. Like um, three or four years ago, I came to Chicago for the first time, and I went to the Art Institute, 
and I like walked around and I was so inspired and I was like I just want to make good art that belongs in museums yeah <laughs> and now yeah. we're playing there so it's crazy yeah it's cool that now you're playing there and you get to kind of revisit and it's like one of those moments where you're like yeah. this is so cool I walked around here and I wanted this to happen and it happened like you like spoke it into existence <laughs> those moments are so beautiful I mean and then you're headed back home to Australia next week yeah yeah we're on a tour there so it's really cool this is um Kevin and Aaron by the way my amazing band this is the amazing band yeah <laughs> who I can't live without let us because not forget they're amazing yeah you guys are amazing I'm really digging the music of course how did you guys meet each other uh it's actually really funny I met Aaron's sister contacted me on Facebook and asked if we could meet up for coffee to talk about her music and then I heard it and I just was like um, hanging out with her and went to their house and then I met Aaron and we just connected creatively straight away so yeah hit it off yeah yeah I mean Facebook is one of those things that's <laughs> like it's it's you can handle all your business on it now for the most part it's really nice or any kind of like social media yeah that's cool Facebook I'm into Facebook um, I like it when people randomly contact me and like yeah. that's cool but um, I feel like Facebook is dying <laughs> A little, yeah. I think they're trying to prevent themselves from dying. They're trying. They're yeah. like buying everybody I mean, it still has a now. place, but it's like when your parents are on Facebook all the time more than your friends. That's when you know it's on the out. I think <laughs> that's a really good indication. <laughs> that's true. At least, so you've got your own website. Um, you can find all her music on phoebestar.co, not .com. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us the story behind that? Like, why is it a .co? Okay. So when I first came out with my first single, which was the last song we played. Mm -hmm. Like, it was kind of like this demo, and then I put it on Triple J Unearthed in Australia, and then it started getting played on radio, and it was kind of, like, a bit unexpected for me. So I didn't have anything, like, a f like I didn't have a Facebook page, I didn't have a website. And then so I go to register um, my domain name, which would be phoebestar.com, and it's like, this domain name's already taken. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Like, why yeah. would it be taken? Did I accidentally do that? And then, no, like, three weeks later, this random guy, like, reaches out and is like, hey, do you want to buy your domain name for, like, $600? And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> why? Yeah, because that's weird in the first place, because your name, Phoebe, is even spelled yeah. a little differently. It was you don't like he was targeting me. Yeah. Why, why like, would someone do that? That's such a, like... I feel hmm. like so many people target musicians who are just starting out, because mm. if you... You want to do music in the first place. You, unless you like come from a really rich, privileged family, you're kind of like not thinking rationally. And this is you're, true. You're you have to be idealistic. So it's um, it's like I feel like there's a lot of businesses that set up to like prey on that idealism and take advantage of people. That's what I've seen anyway. Like I'm constantly shocked about all of these things that to take money on amateur musicians all the time. Most people take rather than support artists, yeah. I think. It's true. And so he probably knew you wanted it. So yeah. he was just like, well, I can get any amount of money I want because that's precious to you. That's Once you own the domain, it's basically a copyright. So yeah. it's like... It's crazy. Like, yeah. But I just think that's like the generation I've grown up in is everyone expects artists to like work for free and mm -hmm. take everything that you, I mean, like I'm willing to do it even cause I love art, but like, yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> it's not cause you should get paid for what you love to do. And then you're already putting all this money up front. Yeah. Like you said, so they're willing to be like, I mean, I'm a musician as well and have been guilty of that. Like <laughs> you just, everybody asks for your money and you're already putting it all toward recording. Yeah. I tend alone. to be like, take it. Thanks for loving it. Sure, yeah. <laughs> just listen to me, you know? <laughs> And then eventually, hopefully, that translates into money, yeah. but it takes a long time to get there. Yeah. Well, so do you... Okay, so your Phoebe.co, that's still... Yeah. I don't know. That's still yeah. searchable. Yeah. So you I didn't mean, buy like, it back. Google exists for a reason, right? Like, well, exactly, yeah. I always find it weird, though, when people, like, ask me, oh, where can I find you on the internet? And I'm like, have you heard of Google? <laughs> <laughs> Just type my name in the search bar and everything will pop up. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, Google Phoebe Star, and you can see all of her new music, one of them being the next song. Yes, this yeah. is the last song we released. Yeah, so it's called Lavender Scars. Cool, whenever you're ready, let's hear Thank it. You. In these final hours, I lay my 
myself down Hold my head high So I will not drown Pull out some paper And write my thoughts down Try to make sense of this world somehow Audio Tree Live, and we are listening to Phoebe Star in the studio today. I'm digging your jacket. It's super cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you said you guys took a pit stop in Indiana and went shopping for clothes. Yeah, actually, so we've been um, we've been hanging out at a friend's house, um, more so now near Wheatfield, Indiana, the last few days. It's been crazy. It's a new experience for me, Wheatfield, Indiana. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I can't think of Indiana being crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, like crazy in maybe the way that I, like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what's politically correct to it's say like that. It's totally different. <laughs> yeah. It's just different from, yeah. anyway, um, so, but one of the things about those towns is they have the most amazing thrift stores. And yeah. I am, a like, a major thrifter. So, um, yeah, I got... I pretty much get like a lot of my clothes from thrift stores. So I got this jacket and yeah, 
I just like keep recycling whenever I go to a new town. So I got this at like, I went up to Yale one day and like got this from like a That's cool. <laughs> thrift store there. I like just kind of, all of my necklaces are from different thrift stores around the country. And I like yeah. that because then it's like you're wearing a piece of where you've been and yeah. And you don't have to like have a weird sentimental thing that you can't use. So. Yeah, it's yeah, good. <laughs> it is good. They're little souvenirs and you can kind of like take the road with you. Yeah, you and know? it's like whenever on someone's like, I like this. You're like, yeah, I got this in Wheatfield, Indiana. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, where is that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We, you wouldn't expect of all places like mm. Indiana. But you're staying, so you're staying there for a little while? Uh, n- no, actually, like we just stayed there for a few days and now, cool. now we're in Chicago. We played at the Virgin Hotel. Also, yeah. like just a shout out to Virgin because um, we left our guitar back in Wheatfield and they mm-hmm. just like let us borrow, but, like the Virgin Hotel just yeah. had a guitar. Just happened to have like, oh, I've got this fancy guitar laying No, yeah, it's the like, red guitar. I don't know. I guess you can use it. Like you can borrow it. Sure. Just like bring it back <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> but like how That's amazing so nice. is that? Like. Yeah, that's like customer service to the extreme. <laughs> like, you have to yelp them five stars. Be like, I know, also. but like seriously, it even yeah. matches the virgin color scheme. Like, it's I know red it's white. like red. That's true. That's so cool. Is it like four bands, or was it a decorative piece they just like took out of like a glass? It was just case? like one of their backline instruments. What did they say? Like, they a, a company gave it to them, right? Yeah, like Ernie Ball hooked it up with them, and then yeah. they just like. Had it so there, like, and they're like, yeah, I don't that's care. So and he's nice. like, De- generosity is paying off right now. <laughs> that's karma, yes. <laughs> that's like so cool that when you give stuff, like, yep. somehow it comes back to you. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do in the other cities then? Do you have to go back to Indiana to get your guitar? Well, we have to go back there anyways. Like, oh, okay. To get yeah, some get, stuff, us, so. get some stuff. So we'll go okay. get this stuff. And then, yeah, we're off to Australia on a tour there. So, yeah, yeah. it's really cool. We're, we're doing a show with, like, Elephant. That's that bit. love. I, this is just Elephant. me announcing it right now, actually. I haven't said yeah. it. So. <laughs> hey. Hey, you heard it here first. On yeah. <laughs> an audio tree, if in, is anyone from Australia watching? Yeah, that's you cool. never know yeah. with the internet. Do you guys like flying? Because that's like a really long flight. I've never flown to Australia, but I can assume that'd be like. Yeah, it's not too bad. Like when you fly from LA, it's 14 hours. But um, oh, true. yeah, I have this like secret weapon and I can fall asleep like I think when I first started flying, I was, like, really afraid because I'm from, like, this small country town in Australia and, like, you don't do anything there. Yeah. And, and so, like, flying, I was, like, scared of it at first. And then, um, yeah, I just, like, me- created this defense mechanism of falling asleep on yeah. the tarmac. And so, like, now whenever I get in a plane, I just automatically fall asleep. It doesn't matter if I've had, like, 14 hours sleep the night before. I just fall asleep for, yeah. like, hours. Like it's it's like this amazing skill that I have. It's like my potty trick, but like yeah, no one else appreciates it. That's nice. If you can do that, do it because mm. that that would be so hard for some people. Or they, you know, I think planes are the best because you get to sleep, you get to eat, you get your own space. I get to like work on anything that I want to. Yeah, like on my laptop, like. It's it's just I like love private. Flying. Yeah, it's yeah. Just like the short flights are annoying because they like. Mm-hmm. they're just annoying but just like interrupting long, time yeah it's like you just have to get on and off and like ugh. yeah but long flights so are like you just get in the zone it's great <laughs> <laughs> well we wish you the best of luck with yeah. your travels thanks you guys thanks so much for having us it's been great to be here in chicago Definitely. playing for the first time and hanging out with you guys it's really amazing what you guys do so thank you for having us of course <laughs> you have one more song left yeah yeah this yeah. is um feel my love yeah cool. whenever you're ready
today and Phoebe Starr and her awesome band for being here all the way from Australia. Thank you guys. It was super dope hanging out with you. We'd also like to thank our crew for working their magic as always. Until next time.